think what else happened is that in that time, uh, we got to miss Mulder and Scully for a long time. And when we came back in 2007 to work on the story, we found we had a lot to say about them and where they were in their lives and, and their relationship. And so this movie really features Mulder and Scully and their relationship in a way that we rarely, if, if ever, did in the television series. So it's, it's a little different than anything we've done before. Well, that's pretty exciting. It always seemed to me, you know, you had this show with this really overpowering, seductive, kind of uh, paranormal, paranormal science fiction element, but then you also had this character drama with these two characters, and it almost seemed to me that was something that went back to screwball comedy, to uh, Moonlighting, maybe, a show that I, I'm guessing the X-Files may have been influenced by a little bit. Even to going back to the 19th century and Jane Austen, that you have these characters who are both repelled by each other and drawn to each other very powerfully. Is that always part of it for you? It's funny, we were talking to uh, someone today about the Avengers and how much we loved that show as a kid. And it, it's, it was, it's, I think these shows, and Marvel, the Avengers, there were these shows with strong women in them, and uh, they were not necessarily uh, um, Romantic, but they had a romantic tension that they helped them work on very <laughs> Going back to uh, to Mulder and Scully after these years, uh, obviously the, their two actors have their careers have taken their own trajectories, and they've had six years away from these characters. Have the characters also changed during the six years they've been away? Yeah, that, that was interesting too because I think for Chris and me it was actually very easy to reconnect with the characters of Mulder and Scully and we both immediately had very similar ideas about where they would be in their lives. But when David and Julian came to work, they both were surprised it was not that easy to get back into the, to the roles. They spent six years trying to be anything but Mulder and Scully. <laughs> and now to have to go back to all these mannerisms that they have been trying to, to work away from and imagine that six years later, it was, it was more of a challenge than, than they expected. But they got the hang of it. I bet they did. In, in terms of this uh, this story, there's been, uh, you told us that it's a standalone. It's not so much connected to the larger X-Files mythology. Um, I know you've, that you've been, for understandable reasons, pretty close about what this story is about. Um, and there's been tremendous speculation on the internet. I don't know if you guys have ever ventured into that terrain and look at some of those. Yes. <laughs> have you seen anything you thought was a particularly good idea? Uh, you, you mean as a guess or? Uh, well, as a, anything particularly outrageous that struck you as a. As a well, if you read the fan fiction, you you find a lot of things and uh, get into this room. <laughs> <laughs> we actually do uh, quite often go on the internet, and especially in this case, because we want to keep the movie secret, we need to make sure that stuff wasn't getting out. And whenever we felt people were getting too warm, we were not above putting out this information. No kidding. The one somewhat convincing account that I've heard drop is that this goes back to some of the, uh, and the trailer would seem to, to support this, some of the paranormal or supernatural elements that particularly were strong in the early years of X-Files. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, I think this really goes back to the, uh, I think the first three years were the fundamental and foundational uh, years for the X-Files, and I think it really goes back to that kind of storytelling. Uh, the mantra was always uh, tell stories that it's only as scary as it is believable and the story should take place within the realm of extreme possibility. That was what we were going for. And I think by and large you can look at the X-Files and say well, most of the episodes that year that there are a couple that are I'd say more blue and more science fiction. But I actually never wanted it to be thought of as science fiction. I wanted it to be thought of as speculative science. Science fiction is the easy label. But the stories are best I think when they're just on the over the horizon of science. 